Good day, mate. Good day, mate. I've been trying to teach you how to say it properly. <laughs> Still got some work to do. Yeah. Uh, welcome to MSA. Best meets best. Meets meet best. best. Which is surprisingly difficult to say. Say it with us. Best meets best. Best meets best. Just be careful and on your enunciation. <laughs> yes, man. This is Ivy. Hi, I'm Ivy, and welcome to um, our MSI channels, and then welcome to the best, famous YouTuber, Blondie. <laughs> she likes to flatter me. So, we are here today because today MSI have announced a new range of laptops featuring Intel's 7th Gen KB Lake codename processors, which is all very exciting. I even got to take a couple home last night and play with them a bit. I'll tell you all about that in a second, though. Exciting. Yeah, I'm nervous now. Very nervous. Yeah. We have giveaways to do today as well. We have Ta Siberia Still Series Special Edition MSI gaming headset. Full uh, Yeah, this is Siberia version 2. I've tried those before. Not those special MSI ones, though, but I have tried them there. Good. We have those. We have some string mousepad? uh, mouse pads. Uh, which mouse pads? Is this mouse pad? Uh, the mouse pad is yeah, similar like this one, but it's a jumbo. Yeah. Big, big version of that. <laughs> yeah, and also the sporty, the kind of the exclusive stringy some, back. Some string backpack yeah. thing in my Bob's doodle list. What do they have to do to win? Oh, you just leave comments under the post, da 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 da, and then please the hashtag with the names that MSI best be mass, uh, best meet. Best meet best. best. It's difficult to say. Yes, and then leave the comments over there, and then. Uh, stay tuned. Which laptops do you like, GS43 or the GE72s? So we're going to talk about the two laptops I got to play with briefly last night. Stayed up to 1M screwing around with them because they're nice. So we'll be showing those off to you, and you can tell us which one you would prefer. Uh, oh, GS43. That's my preferred. Yeah. Mine too, actually. Yeah. So good job. Uh, now Intel seventh gen processors. If you don't know. New CPUs came out, they're a slight upgrade over what was there before, so they're a little bit more efficient. They do things like uh, video encoding a little bit better, a little bit better for gaming. It's just a little bit step forward in efficiency, and alongside that, MSI have also got brand new coolers in a couple of the models as well to help keep thermal temperatures down, help keep them performing at their fastest possible speed, because when CPUs get too hot, they slow themselves down so they don't Ooh. burst into flames and something dramatic like that. So MSI's new coolers are designed to... Uh, keep that under control and judging by the coolers the similar you know the same the, the the previous generation of coolers that i saw on their laptops or reviewed like six months ago whatever it was now they're very very quiet too like surprisingly quiet you know how gaming laptops sort of whine and whistle and scream these ones don't they're fantastic oh, somehow you can bake it right. oh okay <laughs> uh, i've got i've got some slides somewhere here of the coolers where are we cooler the designs there we go um one of the things that MSI have done with several of the coolers is put more heat pipes on. Heat pipes are those those copper coloured things you can see going between the fans and the heat sinks and stuff. And they are, uh, they do what they sound like. They're pipes to transfer the heat around and take heat away from the components and exhaust it out the back of your uh, uh, laptop. Actually, we don't need the make tags anymore. We can turn those off. Um, so what else do we have to? We've got so much to talk about today. Let me have a look at my list. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Which one do you? Oh, I'll do okay. this one first because this one, this is the uh, the the G D E G D T. What's the G S forty three? G S forty three. Um, and this, by the way, has the brand new NVIDIA GeForce GTX ten fifty Ti graphics chipset. Also just announced uh, like a day or two ago at CS, uh, NVIDIA made the announcement and. Here it is, the first laptop with one of those in it. And judging by, like I said, when I was playing around with it last night, it is a little beast. And I have some gameplay I can show you as well. I've got some, uh, make sure I'm selecting the right one here. I've got some Doom gameplay here. This is Doom at 1080p in ultra settings on the MSI GS43. And you can see there on the frame rates, where it's sort of anywhere between sort of 70 to 80 frames per second, we jump up into the triple digits sometimes. And it is, it's bewildering to have that kind of performance on a laptop this thin, this light, this small, um, and this affordable as well. The, the GTX 1050 Ti's are just a, a, a game changer when it comes to gaming laptops as far as I'm concerned. I'll ask you not to judge me too harshly on my gameplay here, by the way. It was very late at night. I was very tired when I was recording this, and I'm a little bit sloppy. <laughs> but I'm about to do something cool. I, I've, just, I've just spotted the... Uh, there we go. Got to take this guy's saddle first. Okay. Yeah, in a sec, I'm going to go grab that power up. 
if I remember where I saw it. That's kind of maybe a little bit, a little bit later in the trip. Moving on, we can go to Watch Dogs 2 now, which is a very fun game. This in very high settings, and I've got to tell you, this is a game that is very difficult to run. Like okay. even on beastly machines, it's a little bit, uh, it's a bit greedy on your system resources. So again, having a tiny little laptop running Watch Dogs in very high settings at sort of the the ideal range between sort of 45 and 60 frames per second. Wow, that's really is, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, the other thing I like about the laptop too is the screen. It is magnificent. It's rich and colorful and deep and, and frankly it looks better than the screen I use on my <laughs> desktop PC at home right now. Now it's about to change. <laughs> and uh, the, the screen on this one is the, the 1080p yeah. Uh, 60 hertz. Yeah. Um, MSI called the IPS style screen down there because it's not exactly IPS, but it is similar to IPS in the yeah, way it performs. Yeah, 94 percent. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got the 94 percent NTSC uh, color coverage, which is part of what I was just talking about. Very, very rich and deep and smooth colors. That's true. You can see here on, on the gameplay here. <laughs> I got myself into a bit of trouble with the cops, and I stole one of their cars. It's it's having a bit <laughs> of a, a bit of a hard time right now with the door hanging open. The, uh, the the next Watch Dogs clip I'll show you with the, with the other machine we're going to talk about. I did a little bit better in escaping the police. This time, not so much. I'm, 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 I'm just not doing very well. Except for this bit. This bit I was clever. I pulled into a little alleyway here and uh, uh, sort of decided to, to, to park the car and hide it from the cops. Here we go. I go, whoop, 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 wait a second. There's cops going around the corner there. I'll just do a little reversey thing and squeak. Back in here, and oh no, my they'll, God, they'll, never, they'll, crap. Ne they'll never find me in here, <gasps> except they did find me in here. I suddenly saw them come around the corner. Run, and, just okay, run, just yeah, run. I'm, I'm stuck now, <laughs> desperately stuck. Got to run, 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 run. And now they're shooting at me, and uh -oh. now the cops are coming in from the other direction. And now everything's gone to hell in a handbasket, and I'm doomed. I'd have to give it up though. It's time to shoot some cops. <laughs> I normally don't shoot cops in these kind of games because you know I, I play as a good guy ish. No. Well, kind of. <laughs> you, don't, you don't believe I play as a good guy? Okay, uh, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'll just take that cop out there. And he, about here, I'm thinking, hey, I can get away with this. I'm actually going to get away with this little situation. It's this sticky situation I've got myself into. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get a bit cocky, really, is what's happening here. It's not going to last, though. Spoiler alert. I'm taking some terrible shots there. Controlling the car, reversing it away from the cop to get him away from cover. Trying to be clever. And, and no, it's just, just all over. There's like four or five of them now. So I decide, well, you know, I'll steal a third cop car for this session. I'll see how far I can get away with Running, that. Running, just run, just run. Yeah. Tunnel. Tunnel's my friend. Helicopters <laughs> can't find me in the tunnel. Oh, but the cops are right behind me. Uh -oh. oh, but they crashed. <laughs> see, right about now I'm feeling cocky again. I'm thinking, I'm going to get away with this. I've got a, a three bar sort of wanted level. Yeah. I've got to hurtle down here. The cops can't follow me here. They're not brave enough to follow me down here. And then I get stuck in a corner mm -hmm. like a complete gibbon. And now I can't get through that gap. And I can't leap over the car. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm stuck. So I lost a lot of time there. And by the time I get around the corner, way. Oh, no. Another cop car. Shoot. So I'm thinking, oh, I'll just steal his car. His car's I've, better than mine. Mine's yeah, all broken. Yeah, I feel you, so I'll just, you're more stronger than the car, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'll just knock him out. And I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the fourth cop car for this particular play session, I think. But... Then there's a gang member there trying to shoot at the cops, and I got caught in the crossfire, <laughs> and it's it's all oh, over. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That was exciting, fun bit of gameplay. But the point is that is running on that. I mean, that's that's, wow, that's a gaming insane. laptop that can run one of the most difficult games to run around at the moment. Watch Dogs Two, uh, in sort of 45 to 60 frames per second in high settings, wow. and run Doom in ultra settings in 1080p and Amazing. do it at approaching triple digit uh, uh it's a frame new, rates. by the way it's a new design isn't it oh yes we're gonna do oh the, the new badge i don't know whether you guys noticed the, the old badge like that gaming series up top they've simplified it so it's Yay. a little bit more elegant a little bit more clean get rid of the text so uh, i'm hoping that the you know that they usually give you a little sticker or something when you get yeah, an amazon graphics card and laptop so I'm hoping they make stickers of that because that's that's a much cleaner, sexier yes. looking little logo. We're yeah. looking at my stuff. So, next up, big one. Okay. If I didn't get it, go on. Lift it with your lift it with your knees, not with your back. Okay. It's a slightly big. <laughs> big. It's okay. So there we go. Um, mm. oh, this one's got the old logo on it. Yeah, still the old logo. So this is the uh, what's the model? The GE GE72. GE72. 
Charlie, yes. I never remember any of these model numbers. G because they are two like twins. This is yeah. a big guy. <laughs> so, um, just like the other little guy, didn't mention this the first time around, but Steel Series keyboard. It's Steel Series. Steel, <laughs> um, Steel Series. MSI likes Steel Series, so do I. Of course. Um, Steel Series keyboard. This one, multicolored, so you can have different lighting zones, which I quite like. When I'm clubbing. This is very Yoo difficult to hold up and talk about at the same time. <laughs> it's very shiny um, down. Yeah. It's so okay. Well, Norton wants some attention. Just go away. No, go away, Norton. I'm trying to talk to the people. Right. So this thing has the uh, GTX 1060. Yes. Yes, GTX 1060 in it. I'll show you some gameplay in a second. But it also has two selections of screens. The 1080p version of the screen is a 120 hertz version. So if you like gaming, that's the way to go because it is so good. I mean, awesome. have you have you ever played Doom in you know triple digit frame rates on a screen that can show you every single one of those frames? It is so good. Really? So smooth. I love it. There is another version of the screen you get though. It's a 4K version of the screen. Okay. That's the one you want if you're a you know video editor or photo editor or designer or anything like that because you get way more screen real estate. It's a 60 hertz screen, so not okay. as ideal for gamers. Um, but the, 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 it's 100% it's NTSC color coverage, which again is better than IPS. So if you do like photo editing, video editing, design work, color work, you know, painting, you're an artist, whatever you do. Wow. That's the screen to get on this thing. Like I said, though, if you're a gamer. Best choice. 1080p, 120 <laughs> hertz, go for it. And that, again, is just a surprisingly slim. I mean, it's not ultra slim. It's not supposed to be. It's the big boy. It's 70 inches. So consider 17 inches. Yeah. Consider this quite so, light. I'll get you. Oh, okay. Hang on to that again. Uh, now I can show you some more gameplay. Uh, where's my Doom demo for the G72? There we go. So again, this is in high settings uh, on the MSI GE72 with the. Uh, it's got the i7 in there, of course. Um, this is the GTX 10. Oh no, wait, wait. This is the one with the 1050 Ti. Sorry, I got it mixed up. We got it mixed up. The, the smaller one was the one with the GTX 1060. This is the one with the GTX 1050 Ti. Oh, all yeah. I got it all backwards. Your bosses are going to be so furious at me for getting it all mixed up. <laughs> but later on, we can like... That's yeah, right. We, we corrected again. ourselves before the yes. stream is over. we we got plenty of time recap to talk about again. stuff. We can yes. recap. So <laughs> no <laughs> This is the, is, is the brand new GTX 1050 Ti that I was talking about before. And again, you can see in uh, Doom, high settings this time, uh, because ultra settings requires 6 gigabytes of video memory, and the GTX 1050 series do not have that. The mm -hmm. Ti has 4 gigabytes which is still plenty for just about every game. It just means you can't run ultra nightmare settings in Doom. But high settings, you can see, still looks brilliant. Again, my, my shooting is really sloppy on this <laughs> gameplay. I'm so embarrassed to show this to people. So torch slow them, and sluggish. Them. I'll just snap his arm off. That's fine. Ooh. So yeah, 60 to sort of 80 frames per second on this, running at 1080p. Um, it's, just, it's just lovely. At least it would be lovely if I could shoot worth a damn right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, just use the rocket launcher on that guy. That's a smart move. Don't use the rocket launcher on the air again. Use it on the shield guy. That's what it's for. He's a bit invisible, in. isn't it? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy shield okay. thing. And then he, yeah, he has this sort of dreadful shotgun thing that just tears your face open. But um, the, the okay. ideal way okay. is to sneak around okay. behind him Perfect. and then knock him out. And I'm just, I'm just doing so bad. I, I need to stop showing people this game. I'm embarrassed <laughs> at this point. That's right. Get out the little gun. No, there we go. The shotgun. Big shotgun. These guys always wreck me oh as well. Oh my god, is it a monster? Yeah. 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 That's, that's what used to be in the old, in the original Doom game, they used to call these guys pinkies. I don't know uh, what they still do. Yeah. But yeah. Ew, big, ew. big, big, leapy monster, smashy face guys. Mm, and so bloody. They take a lot of punishment, too. <laughs> it's very satisfying when you kill them. There's a finishing move where you just sort of tear their head up, and it's very gruesome and awesome. <laughs> oh, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in big trouble. Anyway, moving on to the Watchdogs. I'm finished okay. embarrassing myself. A little bit, I did a little bit better in this gameplay. Uh, so Watch Dogs 2, high settings on the MSI GE72 and the GTX 1050 Ti. Yeah. I'm just going straight for it this time. I'm just choking out that cop. That cop came to investigate someone I reported oh, falsely. Yeah. So just, I'm thinking straight away, you know what? I had fun stealing a cop car last time when I did the first gameplay. I'll do it again. So I checked those guys out. What I didn't know, I didn't notice, is there was two other cop cars in the local area immediately, so I didn't get away with it. They're right on me straight away. <laughs> but this time I'm, I'm prepared. I came with a plan. 
Okay. Well, I tried to come oh, up with a plan. Oh, oh, are you for yeah, no, uh, Oh, you trust me okay. To, I, I meant to do that, to, to turn myself around to go up this street, except that the cops are way ahead of me. Okay, again. okay. <laughs> Very smart then. So I'm just hammering it right now, thinking about how I can get away from these cops, thinking about what I can throw on their way. I tried to use that sign truck thing. I took a remote control of that, trying to move it into the way of the cop car, but no, he's on me. <laughs> these cops are too good. These are these are these are California police. These are American oh. police. You can't get away with anything. So I'm slowing down here, trying to wait for him to go up the other street. Uh -oh. I'm going to sneak down here. I'm thinking you'll have to turn around to come back at me, turn and then on. I'll get away with it. So and then I realised that what I did do is turn onto the highway where there's just no escape. Basically. Oh, so is that backward? You, yeah, you yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I'm, I'm totally going the wrong way. Okay, around okay, this, okay. Around this on ramp or off ramp, I suppose it is in this context. <sighs> But no, cops are still on that me, driver. so quick, change of direction. I can't catch me. Go, 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 run, run. The cop just behind you. Yeah, they're still behind me. I'm, I'm looking for a way out at this point. I'm thinking there's an off-ramp up here somewhere. I know it. And okay. then I spot it. There it is. There okay. It is. There it comes. So I'm going to swoop right down here. And I'm thinking there's a tunnel down here somewhere. I know there's a tunnel down here somewhere. But no, no tunnel. So I'm up on another off-ramp, <laughs> which is a catastrophic mistake as... Oh, no, 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 wait, this is, uh, no, there's another bit where I went up off ramp and the police came straight for me. So there we go, there's my exit, straight off the edge there. There's the tunnel I was looking for, the railway nice. tunnel. There it is. Once I'm in there, I'm home free. All I have to do is make it in there, the cops will lose me, I'm nowhere near a road, there's no helicopters after me. There we go, escaping little bar there. <laughs> I'm thinking, you can run well, for the railway. thing it would be to park in here and just wait for that to tick down, but I, I never like to stop in these games, so I'm just keeping going. But, uh, yeah, 53 frames a second in the little tunnel here, because there's the very quick cracks outside. Oh, yeah, I remembered I could turn my lights on, so I could do that. Aww. Make, make the graphics work a little bit harder. <laughs> Always turn on your police lights when you're going down the tunnel, especially once you've after, after you've escaped. Yeah. I've never actually tested in this game whether civilians will get out of your way if you flash your police sirens in a stolen police car, but wow. there we go. Look at that. Threaded the needle between that tree there. It's very yeah. clear there when you're doing the driving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a brilliant game. Well, yeah. clear for us. The stream is a little bit muddy because of compression and everything, but... Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. We are Very recording this video. We'll, we'll put it up in a, in a higher bitrate version somewhere, I imagine. Okay. But yeah. No, I'm home free. I've, I've lost the cops. They're nowhere near. There's no cops around. Mm -hmm. let's, let's park and pose in front of the sunset. Look at that. <laughs> drama. Absolute drama. Cute. <laughs> Very so, nice yeah, one. That. That was the machine with the GTX 1050 Ti. A little one, GTX 1060, which I should have clued onto because it was running Doom in Ultra. And like I said, you need the 1060 at least to run it in Ultra because of the video memory requirements. <sighs> so what else have we got to talk about? Where are my notes? What else have we missed? Uh, we talked about the i7, we talked about the GT, we talked about the coolers. Um, ooh, that one also has the NVMe M.2 SATA drive, which is an option you can get very, very fast. Uh, storage useful whether you're gaming or you're working with media at the same time um, and the other little guy had the um, m.2 pcie uh, sata drive on it as well um, up to 32 gigabytes of memory in both models i think i'm right in saying um, what else have we got down here i've got my little i7 seventh generation core media performance enhancement thingy graph thing how do you like that little logo by the way that uh, gen 7 gtx 10 uh, reach new heights sort of triple logo down there in the lower left hand corner. I think I like that um, Anyway, VR performance in the i7 because you've got enhancements in the way it handles video throughput get a much uh, get a little boost Yeah, about uh, sort of mm, uh, What's the head math there about 12% is that 12% someone someone who's who, who's who's better at math than I am someone in the, in the comments will, will correct me um, but yeah, there's the there's the VR yeah. chart. Uh, 25. Okay, that says 25 in the in the VR mark test. So I don't know. Was my math correct before on the other chart? And this is a different test, so it's different math. <laughs> it's, um, um, and the X264 performance enhancement. So whether you're watching video or encoding video in particular, if you're like me, you do a lot of video encoding. Mm. That's very important. That'll make your videos render a lot faster. Yeah. Um, also, big deal if you're streaming media uh, back and forth as well. Having that built onto the chip is very very <coughs> handy. Um, uh, nope, that's the wrong slide. Yeah, okay. there's, there's the GTX this is the most That's the one I was looking for before. Yeah. So compared the, to the previous gens. Yeah, the, the machine I'm streaming on to you right now is a previous gen nine series one, and in the, in my machine I can't show it to you because it's the webcam's attached to it. I've got mm. the GTX uh, 965M, which is pretty good. It's not amazing by today's standard, but it's pretty good. But have a look at how much further ahead 
GTX 1050 Ti. That's terrific. 8300 versus 10,000. Woohoo! What does the scanner say about his power level? It's over 9,000. Well over 9,000. Yeah. Um, even the GTX 970M, which used to be the gold standard for you know, efficient laptop gaming. That was the one you wanted where you wanted laptop gaming power, yeah. but didn't want to nuke your battery into oblivion. But now we have the GTX 1050 uh, in the mobile chips, and it just... It's so exciting. <laughs> People have been waiting for it, because it's the last announcement from NVIDIA, because all the other, you know, we've got the 1080s and the 1070s and the 1060s, they've all been in laptops for... Yeah. Uh, what's four, six months now, or something like that? Back yes, when they right. announced it. That's true. People have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the GTX 1050 50 and 1050 and Ti. Ti, Ti in particular, yeah. especially for a gamer, exactly. uh, to make those the way into laptops. And now we have that. <sighs> Finally, a lot of talking. <laughs> yes. What else? Have, we've missed something. There was something. Where's your list? Where's your list? We still have a. Um, this is online uh, launching. So later on, mm. we still have. And they have some live events local in Sydney and Melbourne. Um, in Sydney, in what's the date? Mm. It's, it's in a couple Market of weeks' time. City? In, in Market City, in from January, mid of January, middle of January, till the end of January. So there's a yeah. there's a bit of window of two or three weeks where they're in Market City. Uh, it'll be on the ground floor where we did the other one. Uh, should be there on the yeah, should yeah. be ground floor or second floor. You'll, you'll find it. So yes. if you know Market City, you walk in there and there's a big column down the middle where there's a big space. Well, down the bottom of that space, they'll have the MSI. Also, you can look up the. The dragon, so you will yeah, know yeah. where uh, we are. Are you going to bring the big dragon? <laughs> yes. They have an enormous stuffed dragon. I mean, it's like four foot tall or something. It's ridiculous. Get your picture with it. Tweet it to me. Because I did last time. I might go get another one, actually. But yeah, yeah go to Market City. You'll get hands-on. Uh, it's the entire range you're bringing there, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's the little guy and the big guy and the one we haven't been able to show you today, which is the, the big, oh, big guy. the jumbo one. And you don't need to tell me about this because I've had no hands-on with this one. It's the G... T? G wait, wait, can we can we say that like G G T G T something G T something? Okay. Oh, the biggest monster. Yeah, stay tuned. I'll face with you and you. I'm gonna get in trouble if I say any more. Apparently, <laughs> I've said too much already. No, 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 no. You, you're fine. You're fine. But yeah, let them know right now. If you want a machine that is a true desktop replacement kind of machine, not you know this. This is this is the thing you own if you've already got a desktop and you want something that you, you can take with you and game with you when you're traveling and do your stuff and you're not going to make too many sacrifices. But if you if you just want one brutal machine that's not really something you sit on your lap on a plane because it is a monster, let me tell you, this is this is the the, the thing we'll tell you about later. Apparently. Yeah, this is the thing you want. Okay. <sighs> I think so uh, and Melbourne. Yes. Where the, is the Melbourne one happening? Uh, in Melbourne, it will be at the test. Uh, one of the our dealer shops there, ah. and both, stay tuned. Then we will update all the news on the Facebook. Right, yeah, so keep yes. it on the Facebook. They'll tell you all about exactly when and exactly where it is, and go in and 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 play on the things. And you'll be doing a little bit of live streaming from there as well, aren't you? You're gonna you grab your mobile and do a little, <laughs> yeah, do some just, selfie time. <laughs> She's mad for selfies. Same as him though. He teaches me very well. <laughs> I, I, I taught her how to use a camera properly to make better selfies. I don't take that many selfies, yeah. but every time we meet up, she's like selfie time and hello and selfie and selfie and. <laughs> Yeah. Kids these days, I don't know. That's cool. So, um, have we covered everything? I think we did. That's the most important thing. Have we gone through the entire list? Oh, by the way, don't forget to leave comments under the post yes. so you can get the gifts we, away. We, we didn't quite finish up the conversation. We got sidetracked. The the gifts we have for you, the the prizes, the the headsets, and the mouse pads, and the bags. Leave a comment with the hashtag. It's hashtag um, best, um, be, best, best meets best. best. Yeah, seven gens CPU. Hashtag best meets best and oh it's in the, it's in this post. Yeah, it's, it's, it's attached the to this post. All the all the, yeah, okay. all, I just all the copy hashtags paste are attached to this post. Copy paste those <laughs> into a comment on this post and yeah. um, when this stream ends, Ivy is gonna select a bunch of winners and, and contact you and get your details and send you out the free stuff and I you, you well, almost all the free stuff. I'm gonna steal one of those when she's not looking what? at this what's gonna happen here. No, he won't. He's no. too generous, you know. I, I I have too many headsets already, I think. <laughs> Okay. But thank you guys thank for watching. Guys. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. If you have any questions about this stuff, obviously pop a comment uh, in there as well. Um, like I said, I have had a brief play with these. I don't know if and when I'm going to have time for a full review, but based on what I saw last night and based on what I experienced with the uh, models previous to these, which are almost identical except for the Gen 7 CPU and the new 1050 Ti, they are really good laptops. I love the keyboard. The screens are amazing. Awesome. I love the, one of my favorite things about the MSI laptops, the screens are baller. Um, and the cooling, the second most oh, important thing best. when it comes to a, a, a laptop. You want a brilliant screen, you want a good keyboard, 
what's it, the third thing? I'm no good at math, I told you. Uh, the keyboards, <laughs> the, the Steel Series keyboards, brilliant, absolutely brilliant keyboards, love them. Um, oh, I, ne- I nearly, you told me something about the keyboard on the big monster, but I'm not going to say anything about that yet. Mm-mm, There's a surprise mm-mm. coming about that. So yeah, you guys need to that. figure it out. We will have a launching <sighs> later on. Yes, yes. but uh, that is it for us for today. I'm just going to try and, try and find my, my, my closing screen here. There we go. Yay! And as I like, best means best, reach new heights. Thanks Seven for chain. watching. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I may catch you next time. I don't know whether I'm ever going to be invited back to do another one of these because I screwed up the 1060 and 1050 oh, Ti on. thing. And, and I don't know whether the boss is going to be mad at me. Don't but worry. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> you can always catch me on my YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash bluntytv. And, of course, follow here on the Facebook thing to catch up with all the goings on with the MSI stuff. And I think they repost everything I mentioned about <laughs> MSI anyway. So we'll yeah. see you another time. Bye. Bye.